deal. That'd be okay. I wouldn't even mention it if Donald Trump didn't decide that today was the day he would attack President Obama's wife for her speech making. We have a president, all he wants to do is campaign. His wife, all she wants to do is campaign. And I see how much his wife likes Hillary. But wasn't she the one that originally started the statement, if you can't take care of your home, right? You can't take care of the White House or the country. Where's that? I don't hear that. I don't hear that. She's the one that started that. I said, we can't say that. It's too vicious. Can you believe it? I said that. We can't say it. They said, well, Michelle Obama said it. I said, she did? Donald Trump was trying to pretend that Michelle Obama said that about Hillary Clinton during the first Obama presidential campaign when the Obamas were campaigning against Hillary Clinton. Here is what Michelle Obama actually said in Atlantic, Iowa in 2007. One of the most important things that we need to know about the next president of the United States is, is he somebody that shares our values? Is he somebody that respects family? Is he a good and decent person? So our view was that if you can't run your own house, you certainly can't run the White House. So we've adjusted our schedules to make sure that our girls are first. So while he's traveling around, I do day trips. That means I get up in the morning, I get the girls ready, I get them off, I go and do trips. I'm home before bedtime. So the girls know that I was gone somewhere, but they don't care. They just know that I was at home to tuck them in at night and it keeps them grounded. And ch the children in our country have to know that they come first and our girls do. And that's why we're doing this. We're in this race for not just our children, but for all of our children. Donald Trump boasted that he had nothing to do with the raising of his children, that he wouldn't even take them for walks in the park, nothing. So you could read that quote to Donald Trump all day, what Michelle Obama said. You could read it to him and he would never understand it. He wouldn't understand that Michelle Obama was talking about Barack Obama and Michelle Obama and their children and the children of America. He's incapable of understanding what words mean. The latest NBC Wall Street Journal poll seems to indicate that most Americans understand Michelle Obama. 59% have a favorable view of Michelle Obama, making her the most popular political name in the poll. Donald Trump was the least popular with a 29% favorable rating. And we have breaking news tonight about the first 100 days 